In this video, I'll explain how to add a row to an empty data frame using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's jump into the R code. So in the video, I want to show you an example. And this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines two to four of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see that at the top right of R Studio, a new data frame object appears, which is called data. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the R Studio console by running line five of the code. And as you can see, we have created a data frame with zero rows, or in other words, we have created an empty data frame. You can also see that our empty data frame contains the three columns x1, x2, and x3. Now let's assume that we want to add a row to this empty data frame. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line seven. And in this line of code, I'm using square brackets to specify an index position in our data frame. And then within these square brackets, I'm specifying the value one to tell R that I want to add something at the first row index position. And then I'm specifying a comma because before the comma, we can specify the row index. And after the comma, we would specify a column index. And then I'm assigning to this some values. And please note that we are assigning exactly three values because we need to assign the same number of values to our data set as the number of columns in our data set. So since our data set contains three columns, we also need to insert three values to our data. So if you run line seven of the code, our data frame is updated and we can see that by running line eight of the code, because now our data set has one row and this row contains the values that we have added in line seven of the code. So in this video, I have explained how to add a row to an empty data frame using the R programming language. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.